Bridgewell, connecting people with possibilities. Then, now, and tomorrow. Bridgewell has changed Bernadette's life. <laughs> they have made it possible for her to just be open and grow and be part of the world or the community. And it just, to me, it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful feeling inside. 55 years ago, Bridgewell was founded in Lynn to support individuals with developmental and psychiatric disabilities a small office of psychologists trying to help struggling children and their families. When day treatment wasn't enough, the alternatives were often harsh and isolating. Too often, society cast the challenged aside as hopeless. The 1970s brought deinstitutionalization and the creation of community-based programs, broadening geographic reach and diversifying services. Bridgewell was there then, developing community residences, day programs, and other support services. It continues today, building programs to meet evolving needs. Someone up above was looking down on us. Bridgewell made sure that any of Michael's needs would be met. Bridgewell has a $47 million budget and serves more than 4,200 people at 92 programs, including 73 residential programs in 20 communities in eastern Massachusetts. Bridgewell provides residential and day services, affordable housing and homeless services, clinical services, recreational and transportation services, as well as employment training and educational services. It has sustained its commitment despite the economic downturn, which made the need for Bridgewell ever more compelling. Harry will be 90 in February and has been with Bridgewell for 30 years. For him and countless others, Bridgewell means innovation along a continuum of care, constantly finding new ways to meet the changing needs of adults with developmental disabilities, mental illness, and other life challenges. I made this. I picked up the colors myself. I really like dancing. I, I like to watch TV. I feel safe and secure at Bridgewell. Bridgewell really provides a variety of different services to individuals who can live on their own and just need some support, uh, to the homeless, to people who really need intensive medical care. Coming from the biotech industry, we need to take a long-term view into the future. And what really impresses me about Bridgewell is how creative they are in not only anticipating the emerging needs, but also finding very innovative solutions to address them. Bernadette was in a nursing facility, but now lives in a group home and attends Bridgewell's Boston Street Center during the day. I feel Bernadette's life was very, um, very limited. Bernadette came to Bridgewell um, since the time she moved into the group home, and she was probably about close to 400 pounds. She generally along with the staff at Bridgewell, the staff at the group home, they have brought her out of her shell, helped her grow and want to be part of the world. Cool. Um, it's gonna get me crying. <laughs> and she, she's generally, um, she was wheelchair bound. She couldn't participate in anything. The weight just was too heavy for her body to carry. With the help of the staff, started walking and participating. Care for life means building up medically intensive services as people age, and it means developing innovative services for those with developmental disabilities who are prone to Alzheimer's disease. For a lot of our individuals with um, developmental disabilities, particularly Down syndrome, they develop Alzheimer's at a much younger age than the general population. Bridgewell had one of the first um, homes for individuals with developmental disabilities and Alzheimer's. For a lot of folks, having a dark floor in front of them actually looks more like there's a big hole that they're trying to walk over. For our Alzheimer's program, we chose to have a very open floor plan. The 
surface of all of the floors is actually the same pattern throughout the house. They don't get stuck in a particular room. We're working with the Alzheimer's Association to develop a curriculum specific to individuals with developmental disabilities and Alzheimer's disease that will be offered through the Center for Professional Innovation. With a lot of our individuals, particularly with those with Down syndrome, um, they've had to work very hard in some cases to get out of institutions. They may work for years on job skills to be able to go out and have a paid job in the community and then they hit their 40s and 50s sometimes and get hit with dementia um, at the end, which seems, I think, very unfair. We're also reaching out to meet the challenge of autism. In partnership with the state's Department of Developmental Services, we are opening a day program in Danvers for young people with severe behavioral challenges, many of whom will be 22 and entering the adult service system. Sometimes they can be different um, than the typical needs of, of kids with disabilities. We talk to parents who had sons and daughters that um, are approaching the adult services that will be turning 22, and we simply ask them, what would you like to see in, a, in this service? Um, we've been able to incorporate those ideas into the design of the space as well as the um, development of the curriculum. I mean, what they're looking for is technology. They want their sons and daughters to be out in the community and you know communication is a big piece and then eventually employment. Right now we are the only vendor in this region um, that will be providing the service. We're also exploring initiatives for homeless veterans, especially those returning from Iraq and Afghanistan with acquired brain injuries. We're looking at creating residential settings with support services that will enable those who are able to transition to functional lives in a community setting. For 55 years, Bridgewell has been anticipating needs, planning programs, and solving problems. That's 55 years of creating a continuum of care in the community, laying the groundwork for solutions for each next challenge. We were there before, and we're there now, and with your support, we'll be there in the future. We'll be there whether your sibling needs care beyond your abilities or your lifetime, your child has both cognitive and progressively intensive medical needs, or your friend has fallen on hard times and is on the street. Bridgewell is inspired by the values of caring and respect, reinforced by clinical and professional expertise, buoyed by your support. It is you who help us remain a recognized leader in Massachusetts and indeed a provider of choice, known for its innovation, expertise, care and integrity. It is you who undergird Bridgewell's ability to provide a continuum of care for those who most need our help throughout their lifetime. It is you who provide the resources we need to help them enjoy their highest quality of life and personal growth. It is you who help us connect people with possibilities. I would like to see her more out in the community, possibly um, whether it's in the grocery store bagging groceries. I mean, I've seen many Down, children, Down syndrome children out there, or adults actually, out there. Because the community sometimes can be very um, not open and not caring or wanting to have someone who has a disability you know, participate. I, I cannot thank them enough for all they've done, what they brought her to be as a, as a person. I'm so proud of her.